In this video I will show you how to embed a web browser control uh, in from the toolbox web browser control into a WPF project and there to, uh, to when you evaluate all that stuff from your website then you uh, need the HTML document this one is by the done by the MS HTML or HTML agility pack so First we go to the toolbox and there we have the web browser control, we may drop it into our project. I have already done that stuff. So this is my web browser control, it's a WPF project. The web browser control is similar like this one from Windows Forms. Uh, let's say it's uh, uh, inherited from there and uh, but it doesn't it has doesn't have all those uh, pretty uh, nice features from the windows forms um, when we have embedded it then we may navigate that stuff the uh, control i said there it's and the name is ctl browser control browser and we may navigate that stuff by uh, say well, uh, dot navigate and then uh, we enter a URL here inside and then the stuff uh, the, that website does its stuff. So I will uh, run that for short. Now this is a small demo with where I'm checking my website, my uh, my local router and the this button there, uh, this big block is the uh, the web browser control and it's enlarged to the width and hey and we said there uh, navigate to my login site from my browser now when we want to evaluate that stuff what is inside there when we it's, not, it's quite pretty to see that stuff but it's uh, the in the pc and the code we need uh, we need the diff elements and all that stuff then we have to reference the MS HTML that's from Windows Forms and there we have to do it by add a reference and there we say browse uh, MS HTML um, now project share.com assemblies here MS HTML, there it is. Then you click on one with a this. You check uh, this uh, box there, and then you say okay. So I have already done that, and now we have this reference. Uh, here it is. With this one, you may say, um, bum, 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 bum. where is it? Either, either you say using MS HTML and then you run further with the HTML document. Um, so the using area is there or you say always MS HTML and then HTML document. So these are the, uh, as you see there is, there are the, uh, those link, uh, the links to the, is it links? not a shell uh, I forgot the word excuse me um, and <clears throat> but you see there's a HTML document and there's also HTML document and there's also the HTML document uh, one and two it's, it's not here visible here uh, so this is uh, always from uh, there's a two one two three four five they have a little bit more uh, functions so normally people use the that's the interface interface was the word in German it's different so it's interface and uh, with the it's not the real class it's uh, it takes the the stuff from the real, uh, from the for, uh, former Windows HTML document from Windows Forms so, okay. Uh, in uh, the the document itself will be loaded by um, when you browse to somewhere 
like this one and then when the stuff is loaded then you take um, you go with this one let's say okay my document as soon as I have loaded it my browser then I want my document for example this is one point or when we go uh, another way when we say we have a web request then we will get a stream and in the, from the stream we, will, we may load that stream inside so normally it's quite easy to load it by when you have a web, web request we will say ms uh, so document so we created that document here or let's say a new docu document and then you would say load but as you see there there's no load because an uh, in WPF MS HTML is not that uh, easy to handle like in Windows Forms so that's why normally people take here in the reference the uh, the package which is called HTML agility pack Agility. Here it is. Now you take this one, the first one uh, that's usually taken. We take this and you wait, may install it. and then you see you have a further uh, reference there which is HTML agility pack and um, now in our code we take oh, this is done in the code we have now the possibility instead of H in, instead of this one we say um, my document HTML agility pack HTML document doc equals uh, new HTML document and then we say load 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 HTML that's what I have got for uh, for example that's the stuff which I got from a web request either like this or we take it from the browser if, if we have a browser there then we may take it from there we have the CTL browser and then uh, document either document or document body I'm not sure and we say doc equals this one as as HTML let's take this make a using out there so you that's might better using <coughs> so you don't have to type it all the way uh, where's it gone? Here it is. Doc equals um, as new um, HTML document. Now this is from when we keep there. It's a HTML agility pack. So we may load it from the browser, or we may load it as a HTML string so when we have a string for example here this is uh, when we have this string test string HTML to HTML we will say okay load this one is let's say test test then we have it in our system and we do it now like this
now system goes on there and I may say load and when we, when we take a look on the document now then we have here inside the document the um, doc document node and there are then those nodes there's the inner HTML so this is the advantage of the HTML agility pack and if you want to do uh, navigation from the browser with um, from the same like a normally you take the when you take this one <coughs> I take the browser and browse to a string so this is um, when we take the s test string and browse on there and we have the same result I go there and the browser loads the HTML string so this was it in um, in how to embed a web browser control and how to uh, use the MS HTML or better the HTML agility pack